Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and today we have another episode of Family Dynamics Challenge. Right now it's Winterfest and uh, Maddie is cooking some food. She plans on inviting her grandma and um, Dayton over and hopefully working on their relationship because she really really likes Dayton. I hope you guys like him as well. She already made Harvest Fest dinner and her roommates or her neighbors keep getting pieces and eating it. Huh, I'm looking at you Cameron Drew. Um, but I gave her a Christmas tree so she can decorate with Dayton later on. Um, we also have a decoration box so we put up some Winterfest decorations around the house. Um, it looks so cute. Uh, stop coming in. This is why you keep your door locked because now look, look, he thinks he can come in here and get my food because they're not cooking themselves because I have food. No. Oh my goodness. Get out. You know what? It's the holidays. If they want to sit here and eat, that's fine. I'm not going to work myself up. Also, I think that the holidays that you automatically work on holidays, um, yeah. So I got to remember to fix the holidays in the save file because I don't want her to work on Winterfest. So she's going to call in fake. Well, she's not fake sick. She really is sick. She has like, I guess, swirly whirlies. Um, so I'm going to get her medicine as well so she doesn't give it to Dayton. But all of her roommates are sick too. So um, see, Grandma Joyce wants us to come over to her house. Huh. No, 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 no. We'll have her come over. Let's order some medicine. And maybe we'll even order gifts for um, Dayton and her grandma. So let's get medicine first. Now the gifts we need to get. I think for Dayton, we'll get him a soccer ball. It looks like he does like to work out. So we'll do that. I don't know what her grandma will like. Maybe a camera. I don't know. It's such a simple gift. We'll just do that. Sure, Cameron. You can like kids music. You can also get out of my house. That's an option. Or at least clean up after yourself. All right, we finished the cookies. We are going to invite over Dayton and her grandma. Okay, Dayton got here first, so let's let him in. If you don't remember from last episode, um, Dayton is the guy that we went out with yesterday or last episode, and he's super cute. And Maddie really likes him. He really likes her. The problem is grandma doesn't really like him. So, oh, look at the cute little hug. She's probably like, I made some some Harvest Fest dinner or Winter Fest dinner. If you want to come in, we can decorate the tree together. Oh, look at her grandma. Her grandma's like, okay, I see that you invited him to Winter Fest. So this must be serious. Oh, but they said hello. They seem like they're getting along a little better now. All right, I'm going to form a group between them so they can all go in, eat, decorate, do some fun Winterfest things. Who maxed fitness? I'm so confused. Who was it? Wait, so some of them on, are on holiday, but we had to work on Winterfest? I'm confused. Um, maybe I didn't have to call in sick. But let's go over here, grab a serving together, be cute. Aw, they're all in a festive spirit. They're like, Merry Christmas, Maddie. They're so excited for the food you cooked. They are so cute. She's like, come on in, guys. It's in here. Oh, the Spice Festival is in town. I feel like we would really like that, but we can't go. No, girl, don't leave, because I was just about to lock the door. Actually, I can still do it. Nope, her grandma's leaving. She's like, let's have um, Harvest Fest, or when I keep saying Harvest Fest, Winter Fest dinner outside. Dayton didn't grab any. I wonder if he ate before he came. That's fine. It gives them a second to talk without um, without Dayton. So let's stop, lock this for everyone but Maddie because I'm tired of her neighbors just walking in. But she's like, Grandma, I really like him. So let's see. I don't know if we can talk him up again. I don't think we can. But we can talk about our interest and we can boast about family. Like, I really want to start a family with him, Grandma. So I hope that eventually you will like him. He was like, I don't know. I like that he did come over for Winterfest. That is a good sign. Um, but let's see. Can we give her her gift? We're going to give her the camera and be like, so you can take pictures of us and our future family together. And I feel like her grandma's like, future family? You guys think you're that serious? And she was like, yes. So let's give her her gift. She's like, here you go, Grandma. Happy Winterfest. So cute. And they got a sentiment. Let's see. Does she like the camera? She's like, oh, thank you. Such a random gift. We didn't know what to get you, Grandma. 
All right. Well, I think after we eat, we're going to send our grandma home. She's like, but I want to decorate your tree with you. And we're like, mm, grandma, we're going to decorate it with with Dayton. Um, and I think her grandma's getting the hint. I think slowly her grandma's starting to like him. Oh, she's expressing a passion for romance, letting her know, like, grandma, I love him. I think it's love. <laughs> you got to remember, she never had a um, boyfriend before. So, of course, she's going to be, like, in love with the first guy that gives her any like type of romantic attention but he's really he's really a good guy so she's not like getting the wrong idea with him oh he is eating but he's just eating inside he's like i'm gonna give them some personal time he's so sweet i don't know why kids radios on though can we change this let's do winter holiday um but let's send our grandma home she's like happy winter fest grandma we're gonna um go in here now and decorate Mm, what color goes in here? Let's do a blue and white tree. All right, we just got a message from Paolo. If you don't remember who Paolo is, he was the guy from last episode that, or not last, was it the first episode that we accidentally clicked on? Um, so we can say, yeah, we'll join the party house because she is outgoing. So I do imagine that she likes to party. They want to do a gathering. Um, No, because I'm with my boo and we're decorating the tree to Christmas music and we're cute. Oh, she really has to use the bathroom. I'll let her use the bathroom before they do the next decoration. But this is so cute. And look, I added the picture they took at the restaurant. He's probably saw it like, she's so cute. I love her. I feel like they both are just like falling really quickly for each other. Because they're both family oriented. They want, like, this is like something they both want to be a part of a family. So that's really cute. Let's quickly use the bathroom before we do the rest of the decoration. Don't pee yourself in front of him, love. I love the popcorn and cranberries one. I feel like this is just like whatever they found in the decoration box that she got from her grandma's house is what they put on the tree. So it's going to be like a mismatch or is it mix matched? I always never knew if it's mismatched or mix matched tree. Let me know in the comments, though. Do you say mix matched or mismatched? Um, but mix match, mismatched tree of like a whole bunch of different colored decorations on it. But it's cute because it's their first tree. And they're probably like, when we have kids, we'll get better decorations. Girl, that's a long pee. Are you nervous to give him his gift? Let's go. Why are people keep coming to our house? Okay, your last name is Dark Soul. Dark Soul, that's just like calling and telling me you're a vampire. Please go away. Uh, he's like, yep, you, you got this. <laughs> he just like stares at her constantly. It's cute. Like, look how he's just looking at her while he's decorating. Like, you're supposed to be looking at the tree dating. They're so cute. I want to get pictures of them. Their first Christmas together. Okay, the topper's on. Cute. Now, the last thing is a tree skirt. We're going to do the white and gold snowflake. I don't want to light the tree because I'm scared. Dayton, you're not leaving, so I don't know why you keep saying bye. He's like, I'm tired. Maybe we should invite him to stay the night so he stops trying to leave. We also should place presents under the tree and then open the presents together and then we can give him a gift. Like, I'm trying to be cute. Father Winter seriously never came over. Like, how rude. Oh no, he's right here. It's really, really important that we get a gift from Father Winter so I can sell it for some money. Or maybe it's a gift we can actually use, but we'll see. I try to go out and talk to Father Winter, but it's not letting me. So let's quickly give him his gift. Oh, from calling in sick, we still got paid 200 simoleons. That's perfect for me, but let's give him his soccer ball. Oh, Father Winter is coming over. It's just that my door is locked. That's why he couldn't come in. Um. Yeah, it's going to stay locked because I, I don't want grandma to come in. I don't know why she came back. She's like, I'm just so worried. <laughs> Go home, grandma. She's like, I just want him to treat my granddaughter great. Send home. Grandma, go home. Like, look, you're ruining the gift giving process. Oh my goodness. This is a hot mess. Okay, finally, can we give him a gift? He's like exhausted. So that's why he wants to go. She's like, here's your gift, Dayton. Oh, he didn't like it. <laughs> He's like a soccer ball. I wonder if he's just like buff and he's like, I don't even work out. So don't even worry about that. But he didn't like the gift that made her really sad. Aw, poor thing. All right, but hi, Father Winter. Can I get a gift now? Because I've been giving gifts and I need to get one. All right, ask for a present. 
He really is leaving without giving me my gift. Oh, he left. No. So no gift. You know what would be a nice gift? A nice woohoo. That would be a great gift for you. So let's come in here. And the present pile is not showing up under the tree. So give him a gloomy compliment. Hopefully you get over your sad mood quickly because girl, we got, we got moves to make with Dayton. Like, so what? He didn't like, it was a soccer ball. Get over it, Maddie. <laughs> he liked the gloomy compliment though. How about we give him a romantic gift since he didn't like the soccer ball. She was like, well, I did have pictures that I got printed of us. I just didn't think he would like it. So let's see if he likes this one. All right, this was really the gift I was wanted to give you, but I thought it was corny. Let's see if he likes it. Oh, see, he, he was like, are you kidding me, Maddie? That's exactly what I wanted. And it's just when Winterfest ended. That's so cute. Oh, and he was like, and I got you a rose. So she did get a gift. All right, y'all know what that means, okay? That means they are definitely gonna woohoo. <laughs> Let's just, you know, get that done. It says, every day we share together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to our happily ever after. I think that was him telling her, like, I want to go out. So after this, we're going to have her asked to be his girlfriend. Oh, and he used the condom. Smart boy. But they're woohooing for the first time. Super cute. Nice Winterfest woohoos. All right. After their nice woohoo, they're heading off to bed. But we will pick back up in the morning. All right, it's the next morning. Maddie and Dayton have been sleeping in. It's already almost 10 in the morning. I think it's time though that we ask him to be her boyfriend. She's like, do we go out? Does this mean we go out? We spent the night. We spent Winterfest together. It must mean we go out. And now officially they do. How cute. They have a lot of sentiments, but deeply connected is one. I love that for them. Um, before he leaves, let's woohoo in the shower. <laughs> and then we will send him on his way and get ready for work. I believe she works today. She does. She works in four hours. We need mixology level two. I did buy her a book, so she should have a mixology book somewhere in here. So we'll read that after she's done woohooing, showering, eating, you know, getting ready for work if we have time. Oh, look at them go. This is not their first time woohooing. Didn't they woohoo last night? Wait, is it actually working on hygiene? Since when? I mean, it didn't bring it up much, but it did do some... Wait, 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 wait. How did you go from using condoms to no protection used? You guys became boyfriend and girlfriend and got really comfortable. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Let's unlock this so he can go home. Because if she is pregnant, he needs to go. I don't think she would want him to know that she thinks she's pregnant. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have her test herself, not yet. I'm a little scared. <laughs> But it will be cute because we do need to have three or four children. So I wouldn't be too mad. But I did want them to get married first. So he's the type, though, if she is pregnant, they'll do a shotgun wedding for sure. They're both really family oriented. They want a family. They've talked about wanting families together. And if she is pregnant, they're definitely going to start a family. But I think we'll probably give her a test when she gets home. Um... I don't want her to go to work thinking like, oh my goodness, I'm pregnant. What am I going to do? So we'll have her like, you know, we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait. But that throw up, my game only does throw up if you are pregnant. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming she is. Dayton literally just left and was like, hey, do you want to go on a date? He loves her. He loves her. But no, we have work. <laughs> I unlock my door for one second. And of course, of course, Cameron is in here. But Cameron is like one of her closest friends and we haven't had a chance to talk to him recently. So let's go over here and we're going to gush about her partner like Cameron, you wouldn't believe it. I actually have a boyfriend. And now grandma's texting her like, hey, do you want to come over? She's like, you wouldn't believe it, Cameron. I seriously have a boyfriend. I can't wait to introduce you guys later. So we'll do that. Um, I don't know because she gets home late, but probably tomorrow we'll introduce them or whenever she has a day off, we'll have him come over and meet her roommates. Um, she doesn't have days off until Tuesday and Wednesday. 
Oh my goodness, now Theo's in her house, but we should be having work soon, so it doesn't really matter. All right, and I was having her read a mixology book to get that skill, um, because you guys know she hates mixology. Um, so she's never gonna really try to mix drinks herself. We're mostly gonna use books, but um, she has work. So we're gonna send her off to work and we'll pick back up when she gets back home later on tonight. All right, Maddie's home. And the first thing I want her to do is take this pregnancy test. Cause we gotta know. All right, Maddie girl, are you pregnant? She is, okay. <laughs> She's really happy about it. Um, but that means that <laughs> tomorrow we have to invite over Dayton and let him know. She's heading to bed after that news. She was like, okay, great. I'm pregnant. Um, don't take a nap, love. Just go to sleep because you're exhausted. But tomorrow we are going to invite Dayton over and we're going to let him know, like, you know, she's pregnant. And I imagine that he will want to move in with her. Now, the issue is I kind of don't want them to live here anymore. Like, look how tiny this house is. There's a lot of Sims here. It's going to be really hard for them to raise a family in this neighborhood. So what I think I might do is I might see how much her house is worth. Um, and then like cheat that money to her kind of like she sold this house that she has right here And then i'm gonna move them into like an empty lot and we're gonna start off fresh with those two So I think that's probably what we'll do once we tell him that we'll probably move them into a lot together And then and then I can see how much money they have so we can start building them a home because geez This is moving quick, but I kind of think isn't that what the generation is supposed to be like moving quickly you find someone you fall in love you get married type of thing and since she's pregnant i feel like they're gonna get married right away but we'll pick back up when maddie gets up all right it's the next morning maddie's up we're gonna have her make some breakfast before she invites where are you heading to make breakfast i don't know but can we see the little bump it's a little, little, tiny, tiny bump, but it's still there. Still cute. How are you walking over here to make breakfast when your house is this way? She's probably like, I really want to tell honey that I'm pregnant. No, girl. And apparently it's Founder's Day, but let's make some breakfast. Make scrambled eggs with bacon. I imagine that she's like really nervous with being pregnant. And she doesn't know how Dayton is going to react considering they just started going out, so... She's a little nervous about that, but we'll invite him over and see how he's going to take it. Here he is, looking cute as ever. She's like, aw, hey babe, come on in. She's wearing the perfect outfit because you can't even tell that she has like a little bump going on. <laughs> he's already toasting early in the morning. He was like, aren't you gonna drink? It's Founder's Day and she's like, about that. Share the news first. We'll ask him first if he wants kids. Let's see what he says. She was like, I like having children. Okay. She's going to be like, great, because I am pregnant. Oh, she can ask him to marry her due to having a child together. Let's share the big news first. Oh, he's really happy. He's really happy. All right, let's talk about baby room decoration. Like, so this is where I live. I don't know where you live, but I don't know how we're going to fit a baby in this house. And he's like, I agree. I think we should move in together. And then I think she's going to be like, are you going to marry me? Because I don't plan on raising a child alone. And I need to know this now. So let's see. They're on the same side. She can't ask him to marry her. Due to baby, why not? All right. The news seems like it's getting received well. The problem is that we can't ask him to marry her due to our, the pregnancy. I think we might have to add him to the house. So let's first ask um, him to join the household like are you gonna you know help me provide for our baby um they are moving in together oh and he has twenty thousand simoleons that he can bring over he doesn't live in a house so that's fine all right let's move him in though with all his money and he's like woohoo i'm happy to be here hold on let me read this it says dayton's partner says dayton is the father of their child whether wanting children or not in an exclusive relationship it's still comforting to know that at least your partner's child is also yours. No surprises here. Let's see if he can ask her to marry him now. He's like, will you marry me? Like, we're having a child together. I want a family. Let's see what she says. Oh, she said no. She's like, no, I don't want to marry you for just having the child with me. 
I think she's more like, I want you to ask me to marry you because you love me. And he's going to profess his undying love for her like, I do love you. I thought you would just want to get married just because we're having a child. But now that I know you really want to marry me, let's see if we can do a real proposal and see if she says yes to that. Is she going to say yes? Oh, she scared me. She's like, yes, I want to marry for love. Oh my goodness. She did not want to marry just for the child. She wanted to marry for love. She's so dramatic, but I love her. They're engaged now. Cute. Okay, good. They just got engaged. All right, you really have to use the bathroom. Quickly do that. I think when Maddie's at work, Dayton's like, okay, Maddie, when you're at work, I'm going to organize for us to get our own place. Um, and we will be leaving here. So don't worry about like anything. Oh, who's at her door? Tara Beckwith and then Crimson is talking to her. That's fine. Um, but... I feel like he's like, I'll sell the house and I'll organize all that. And by the time you get home today, we'll be on our own lot where we can build our house and our family together. So when she's at work, I'm going to see how much actually this house is. And I also want to pack up her plants because we have to get 10 plants and I already planted two of them. So let's put that in the inventory. Hopefully she can take her inventory with her. We also have, this is like from the education career. This is not our stuff and I don't want it. <laughs> but if I sell it, I get the money. So I don't know. I'm just gonna throw that there. That's not ours. This isn't also ours. These are, cause they're from the culinary career. These plants aren't ours. How do we get these plants in our inventory? I don't want these. Just gonna plant them here. Okay. And this is also Crimson's baseball bat. So is this. As soon as we're moving out, I'm like, I don't care about how their house looks. All right, now, but what I really wanted to do is see how much is this house. So let's see if we can move just this house. And if we sell it, it's worth 23,361. So I'm gonna add that money. We're gonna act like they are selling this house. Maybe this is who they're selling it to. Taya, I think her name is, or Taya, cause it's spelled like Maya, but with a T. So let's have Dayton give her a cheerful interaction. Oh, I'm so happy you're agreeing to buy the house. He's like, nice to meet you. Um, I hope you like the neighbors. It's a nice neighborhood. We're just moving to something bigger to start our family. Okay, good. We introduced ourselves to her. What I might do, I wonder if she has a family. If she has a family, I don't want to move her from her family. Let me see. Okay, she has no spouse, no children, or anything like that. And she even has no home. Perfect. Let's add her to the family. And then we will add how much the house is worth. All right, good, we got our money. So now we have 45,000 to get them a new house. Sure, you can like fitness, Taya. I think her name is Taya, I don't know. Oh my goodness, she came to look at the house too. Sorry, um, Aunt Anaya. I believe Anaya is married anyway, so you couldn't get the house anyway. Um, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna head out. There's nothing else we need here. And they now have a new roommate here. I'm kind of hoping that Cameron and um, Taya get together because I think that would be cute. And plus he's romantic. So hopefully they get together. Um, but for right now, we're going to move. And I want to still stay in Oasis Springs. So let's see what we can get. All right. So I brought them a new house. It was like 20 something thousand. So they only have 17,000 left. But this is here in Oasis Springs. And it's actually like right across the street from her grandma's house. Her grandma literally lives like right here. So I feel like her grandma was like, my neighbors moved out. You guys can move there. But look at her relaxing with her pregnant self. How cute. Um, but it's a completely empty house. If you're new to my channel, I love buying empty houses because it's just more realistic. Um, you're not going to be able to buy a furnished house. But what I want to do before the episode ends is I kind of want to figure out what they're having. So they're going to go to the gynecologist together. Wait, I think you can only go the second trimester. When are you in? Seven hours. Um, I really wanted to figure out what she was having. Look at her though. She's so cute. She's like, I do not like working out. I don't know why I was swimming, but look at her pregnant self. I guess we won't be figuring out what she's having this episode. I really wanted to let you guys know so you can leave me names. 
But we'll end off here. <laughs> she looks so happy, but she's so cute. I'm so happy that she's pregnant. She's in a new neighborhood with her fiance because they're engaged as well. Um, I think what we're going to do is probably do like a really, really quick wedding the next episode. I feel like her grandma's going to be like, you better marry my granddaughter. She's pregnant. Um, and you guys better be married before the baby gets here. Speaking of the baby, I'm going to need boy and girl names, non-binary names, whatever names you can think of, because we don't know what she's having, um, because she's not in her second trimester yet. But I had fun this episode. I'm still really, really enjoying the series. We didn't do much with the challenge as far as like skills and things like that. Um, we did more of the storytelling part of the challenge, but um, next episode we'll focus more on her career. I'm hoping to get her to level five soon so we can have her quit her job and start her own business. I also plan on putting Dayton into university for business. I feel like he knows her dream is like to own her own restaurant and he's like, I need a business degree so we can make sure like this business is up and running. So we'll probably put him in university for business next episode. So that's also exciting. Um, but I had so much fun. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series and I will see you in the next one. Bye now. Bye.